Pace Setter Soccer Club. Soccer excellence since 1980. Look at this, the three of us. We've got the whole gang back together for <laughs> sidekicks again. Finally, Francis Stevens, Chris Black, everybody here. And this is the most exciting time of year, isn't it? We're going to have seating this week and almost time to talk playoffs. Absolutely. You know, this is a big week for a lot of teams. You know, a lot of teams that are trying to finalize and polish that resume. But again, you know, we'll be interested to see what it all comes out on Friday. Um, and then on Sunday, the bracket reveal will happen after 3 o'clock. All right, look, the resume matters when they're sitting in that room and they're deciding on seating. But you don't play games on paper. Do you, Chris? <laughs> no, you don't play games on paper. However, you want to show up well on paper, and, and that's what it's about right now. The boys have one last day really to really do something about it big time with the seating, and then, of course, uh, one more day for maybe both Saturday to try to not only, hey, doesn't matter where we're seated, you want to avoid us so they can still make a little <laughs> statement of where they place for uh, the weekend. All right, I think everyone knows who the best teams are for boys and girls, but who are some of the teams that you're looking at that might be able to make a run who are just on the outside of that top tier. Let's start with the boys. Okay, so on the boys' side, I think it's a difficult question because it's not just who's the best. I'll tell you, in D1, I'm going to throw out the best people other people can argue. Okay. You don't want to play Springfield in the tournament. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Of course, St. Francis wins the track, which is huge. The uh, NLL probably going Anthony Wayne's way. Uh, but I think the biggest thing now is who to avoid. And I think that on the boys' side, D1, is Springfield in the tournament. Uh, and then on boys, boys D3, I think, obviously, Ottawa Hill is always that big one that's run away with it. Mommy Valley Country Day School could be that Thor and Ottawa Hill side again. They've done it before. Maybe that's this year after a difficult game. I think Ottawa Hills got away with the 4-1 win. They're happy in the end. Ran away with a little bit after a difficult fight by Mommy Valley Country Day. Yeah, I, I would probably say Springfield. Um, I think Adam Sloan's done a job this year with those kids. And, you know, a lot of the players that he's lost, you know, throughout the years, you know, you lose a guy like Trevor Tab. Trevor Tab was literally one post away and knocked the St. John's out of the tournament in 2020. Um, and last year went through some growing pains, but you got players like Hunter Kivas and Tim Cox who can really do some things. I, I think another one we have to really look at too, when they get their goalkeeper back could be Finley. And I, and I think the reason I would say Finley is this, there's a little bit of experience there. I mean, they graduated 14 seniors from a year ago. Kevin Shanice has been in the district final uh, two last two years, won it in 20, lost in 21. I think their goalkeeper, if they get him back, they're a different team because he is lights out and he can keep them in games. And I mean, the biggest thing for them is this, you get Arter Daston going and Jalen Barney and those guys going, they can end your night. Well, look, getting hot at the right time, that's what it's all about, right? And I, I think a team that you had brought up earlier, Notre Dame, on the girls' side. They just lost one of their top scorers, but they're playing some good soccer right now, too. Yeah, and, and you look at what Notre Dame's done. Obviously, struggled. We did the open against Perrysburg. Yes, they lost 0-4, I think, at the end of it, but Chip Smith played a deep bench, very deep bench, giving lots of kids opportunities, and probably that, that pays off now. So that's a team that you're looking at. Obviously, hot at the right time, because the Division One with Anthony Wayne, obviously, they're, they're just going through their issues. I'm going to say Notre Dame's rolling right now, but the big game for the track final in two Saturdays between more than likely track final, technically, I guess, Notre Dame and St. Ursula Academy. I'm picking St. Ursula Academy as a sleeper just because Notre Dame's flying right now with results. <laughs> St. Ursula's been close to results. So I don't think you can call, I don't know if you can call Notre Dame a sleeper right now, but I think you look at St. Ursula Academy and their goals away from changing games. Look at what they had at Southview, um, how they got ran, the goal game got ran away from them. But they've had against Perrysburg, you're waiting for them to score. So I think that's the that's thing the girls side for Division One. But I, I think St. Ursula's won. Um, you can't say Notre Dame is one because, again, you know, you get results against South, you get a result against Anthony Wayne. Both those games, mind you, on the road. It's big, that's a big result. And I think Anthony Wayne right now, going through some growing pains, it is what it is. You can't be good for that long period of time because <laughs> Perrysburg was that as well, too. Let's go three years before that. Perrysburg was in the same boat. Uh, but everybody's going to talk about Perrysburg and Northview and Anthony Wayne being there. I think both the girls' schools are Dame defending district champions. They have some experience. So unfortunately, they lost Allie Peckham, but again, you have other players who can pick up the slack. This is all going to be a lot of fun. When you were in here last week, Chris, you had your pen and your paper <laughs> writing down all the NLL scenarios. We're going to yeah, need the pen the and paper here pretty soon for these brackets. Yep, no, absolutely. J just, just the next day, just next couple of days, writing down furiously and, and trying to figure out what's going where. But, uh, you know, it's always fun. It's always fun. And, and uh, actually, what's going to happen soon, it's going to be people on Twitter is going, why aren't the brackets loaded yet? Where are the brackets? <laughs> so it's right around the corner. We love having you both in here. Thank Francis you, Stevens, Chris Black, Sidekicks.